Okay, we're on part six and we're still talking about this orange group here. I'm just finishing up. And I was talking about how the leaders are the CEOs, the top money makers, um, corporations, businessmen, the fashion industry, everybody who is trying to make their mark on the planet and trying to make a place for themselves. So their thinking is multiplistic according to how it benefits you. Otherwise, I, I wanna know what it is you want and want, I wanna know how I can serve you because I want to make money from you. <laughs> so there's an even exchange, but they're still wondering how you can benefit me and, and they're wanting to have that mutual um, convergence there. Their values are materialism, achievement. I wanna see what I can do. What difference can I make? And they're very focused on their cars and their houses and what do I have and what do I look like? So again, we're moving from, um, well, let's see, I'll go to the next slide. The problem that happens in this orange place, you can imagine, is that we start exploiting people and taking advantage of them. And we start exploiting the Earth's resources like the coal, um, oil, water. There's a lack of consideration for those who are marginalized. It's every man for himself still in this place. We don't have much inclusion or care much about those who don't have what we have. It's all, it's all about us climbing the ladder. And so it starts to create a problem within the, the, the matrix of the whole system. There's an imbalance of resources. Um, the strongest survive and the others suffer. And so you can imagine where some countries are really at this orange place and they've been there for a while, they've pretty much exhausted all the resources and they're going to other countries that are more in the more blue or purple and they'll, they'll start to want to use up their resources. Um, so that's another way we can observe this on the planet of where different uh, communities of people or even whole nations are in different levels of consciousness. So the percentage on the planet that are in this orange place, this is probably the largest volume of people on the planet are in this orange place of entrepreneurship between 40 and 50% of the planet. And the influence that it has is about equal to that. So it's 50% influence. So right now, as it stands, this orange entrepreneur level of consciousness has more influence than any other um, level of consciousness on the planet. That's where we are um, as far as our most prominent level of consciousness. The next one is the green, the activists. You know an activist, right? <laughs> they move into that place of seeking to care for the marginalized, those who are suffering, those who um, nurture and care for the earth. So we have green peas, we have PETA, we have um, people who are just sticking up for the people who don't have it right. And people who are uh, sex, child sex slavery is a big thing where a lot of activists are making us aware of this. Activists about uh, women's rights, about the Me Too campaign, about um, exposing these, these men who have had these domineering attitudes about their corporation and their companies and, and creating something big for themselves, but they're exploiting women. And now as you turn into this green consciousness, you start to fight for that, knowing that morally that's wrong and it's not okay. And so there's a lot of exposure going on right now. In fact, I think we're shifting really quickly into a green. It seems to be ex escalating because of the transparency that the internet is providing is creating an opportunity for all of these activists to become um, known and to make them aware and, and they're getting a lot of publicity. They're very pluralistic, postmodern thinking. They have a passion for helping the marginalized. So a lot of these kids um, that are grown, that they're born into a family that might already be green, or let's say they're born into a family that's very orange and the dad and the mom have done very well for themselves and they're very, um, they have a lot of affluence. Uh, that child is born into a place where, yeah, they'll go through the different levels of consciousness, but they kind of end up in their adulthood. They're already at green in an instant and they have a passion for helping the marginalized. And so that's when you see these 
granola kids showing up again <laughs> and they they are wanting to live in a van and or live um, a, sim a simple life or or the most um the most what do you call it? minimalist life and they they have a mission there's there's a lot of young people who are already in this green activist place because their parents were so successful in the orange so these green consciousness friends of ours and some of us are there already and we can recognize ourselves in this but we're learning to share and to give generously and um it, when we were blue we had to give <laughs> uh, 10 percent, or we would be burned in hell you know that's not even your money 10 percent needs to go to god but when you move into a green consciousness you're learning to share and give generously you notice what it is you need and then you give to others generously that's a, a quality of the green activists again that's more feminine energy that they want to help everybody in society they have a care for the earth and the earth's resources. They realize what the exploitation of the last, um, the last generation has done and they feel responsible and they want to care for the earth and provide something healthy for future generations. They want to stop racism. They want to stop sexism. They want to stop any ism. And that's why we have this rioting going on. We're just cleansing it and getting rid of it you know, it, it's kind of been hiding in, in little corners and little pockets of the world. And right now it's just all coming out to be seen and to be cleansed and to get cleared out. So that's what we're watching right now. Um, no more discrimination. Uh, we don't want to be the best. Here's this weird thing. Our last president was about we don't need to be the, the best country. We don't we need to dominate. We need to take our place in the world and be responsible for the and a leader in the world, but not dominate the world. And there was more of a green kind of attitude about that. And a lot of the people that were still in the orange mentality were about, uh, no, we're going to be, we're going to be um, attacked. There's a, a threat. If we don't dominate, then we'll disintegrate. <laughs> and so um, here, and I'll talk about this in a minute, but the green people see what the orange people have done and it really pisses them off. And the orange people are irritated at the green people because the green people don't, they, it's like they're trying to take everything that they've worked for away from them. So um, this is just something that we're watching right now with all the culture wars that we're having. There's no set of people more privileged than others. That's their belief. Civil rights, human rights over corporate interests. They want companies to be treating people right. They want things to be fair. They want, they believe in sacrifice of ourself for others. So you see again, that feminine energy there and that sacrifice that we put forth in the blue is going to really serve us in the green. Um, redistribution of resources. And a lot of people that are on the right and who would, I would say are more still in that orange and blue um, consciousness. They're very disturbed by this idea of redistribution of resources however if we don't move into that place we're going to destroy the planet and we're there's going to be too many people in poverty and we're already in the place that you know one percent of the population owns most of the wealth so there needs to be some kind of redistribution and balancing out or we just won't survive um we need to stop they believe in stop separating people into levels groups caste systems, races. Um, this is where we get the feminists, the abolitionists, the LGBT rights. All of these things are the green attitude of everybody needs to be represented in order to us to move forward. Activism more than business. And so a lot of people are starting nonprofit organizations rather than for-profit organizations. Um, no one should go without. Everyone has a right to success. And some people don't agree with that and they don't want to hear that. So I'm going to save the next, the rest for the next slide.